Most of the playwrights in the early stages of our independence, we, we may have noticed that they would write plays that basically were against the government. Indeed. And any, any play, any works of art that sometimes reaches out to the people mm -hmm. becomes very interesting. Play, uh, writing and uh, performance has been used from time immemorial to criticize government, to criticize society. Mm -hmm. And therefore all the playwrights who were in Kenya before that would set plays at the Kenya National Theatre, mm -hmm. would set plays in what we call as a theatre for development within the marketplace, mm -hmm. were actually banned and then would go out as exiles. Mm -hmm. we, you are very much aware of Mugwa Diongo and these playwrights that was not acceptable in Kenya and then of course went out and th thrived quite well. So it's because of that and two, the film industry in Kenya has been taken to be not as a career, but as a pastime activity. Mm -hmm. And you may have noticed, therefore, that uh, even what we do in schools and colleges, most of the students who come from there with talent, when they complete a school program, they go to the university and begin to take their course. They want to take architecture, they want to take law, they want to take medicine, and then they forget the talent that they had, they nurtured while at the preliminary level of, of schooling. Indeed. So it's because of the fact that it doesn't pay. It's paying elsewhere, but in Honestly. Africa, specifically in Kenya, it's not paying. Mm -hmm. And the, fun, the funding of the films, if you go to other, other, other parts of the world, you find that uh, the corporates are sponsoring films. The corporates are sponsoring uh, state plays. We have now seen lately that uh, at the French Cultural Center, uh, you know, we have some of the corporates who are coming in. All mm -hmm. that ends are also giving us sponsorship. So it's because of that, that then, then that uh, most of the, those who blossom with talent from the, from the preliminary point of view, come up and then they would, you know, fizzle out or they go out of the, out of the country, out of town, and then they come out and quite well. they thrive well. elsewhere. They do, they do very Which is well. really sad. Which it is, is, it's sad. It's it sad, is, yes. It is. Now, let's talk about the support that we give our, our young talent out there. Do you think we've done enough, let's say, as all the stakeholders, as the yeah. government, mm -hmm. as families, mm -hmm. as society? Have we supported them enough? Let me come from the, from the, from the, from the family point of view and school point of view, because I'm, I'm a trainer, mm -hmm. and I interact quite well with parents, and Indeed. I interact quite well with my colleagues as teachers our school educa education is. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, the fact that society has not been able to accept the arts as part and parcel of livelihood in society, then the teachers, the parents, have been able again to advise their children against the practice. In schools and college drama festival, you find that maybe the teacher who is involved in drama is actually shunned by other teachers who wants to score an A, mean grade. Mm -hmm. And when you begin to see drama involvement, which is consuming much more of the time of the child, most of the teachers who are teaching mathematics, physics, and other serious, so to speak, subjects, do not want to encourage the students to be involved in drama. But of late, uh, we have seen most of the, those who have been involved in drama, wh whether in school or colleges, mm -hmm. are now able to make a livelihood out of their participation in the arts, and therefore, you know, I want to believe, therefore, that the, 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 the change in terms of the paradigm shift in terms of the behavior and the beliefs of the, the fact that uh, the arts are not paying is actually becoming something of the past. Mm -hmm. For instance, the, the, the county governments have a lot of money. They even have specific item on the arts. Mm -hmm. For instance, um, if, for instance, Kakameka County wants to promote uh, bullfighting, mm -hmm. why can they make a, a movie about bullfighting, which has bullfighting in it, and promote bullfighting among us, the, the Idaho of, of Kakamega. Mm -hmm. If, for instance, the county government of Mombasa wants to sell and promote the flora and fauna of the beaches and the nice hotels at the cost, why can they do a movie and involve all those hotels with the, with the stakeholders funding, assisting the funding the government? the county government of Mombasa, mm -hmm. to be able to come up with a movie. And this was happening in other places of the world. The corporates come in so long as the interests are captured within the narrative. That's very true. Within the narrative, yes. Now, remember, for, for instance, from the very beginning, why were the Westerners coming to film in Kenya? And remember, most of the early films that were done in Kenya from the 1930s mm -hmm. were basically on wildlife. True. Out of Africa, uh, nowhere in Africa, they were basically telling us ab about the narrative, about the wildlife, which then was promoting the Kenya as film destination of the world to the Westerners who are watching in the, in, in the film houses 
uh, in the halls within the Western world. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. So in essence, the thriving or um, the improvement of the film industry in mm -hmm. Kenya will kind of resonate for yeah, other industries. Definitely. And, and something I also want to mention is that the, the Jubilee government uh, are also fairly focused on the arts and having a whole department specifically for the arts. You are very much aware that the Ministry of Sports, Culture and the Arts comprise a department very important that mm -hmm. deals with filmmaking and uh, performing arts and that's the department of the arts mm -hmm. and i want to believe that uh, by doing so then the government of kenya is trying to make sure that we provide opportunities to young people to be able to uh, you know do their shows out there direct their movies mm -hmm. and then act in various movies we also have the film fund which is basically a commission that is actually able to find ways of funding would-be directors who come up with good stories mm -hmm. come up with a good narrative and then they can be able to fund them and later on they can pay through uh, a check-off system of some sort. Why would I, you know, Linda, putting up a production, even a half a minute production, is quite expensive. It is. The equipment involved is enormous in terms of the, the money. Mm -hmm. the, 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 if you can put up a studio like this one. We do a production like we are doing, and then somebody picks it on, on, on the highway and sells it to somebody else as a broker. It's very painful. It is. What we are saying, fine, we need to go digital. But we are saying let there be specific, um, um, you know, requirements that will not, uh, you know, will not infringe on the rights of the of, of, of the media owners. Mm -hmm. The media owners have a right. So we are also saying they can also have a share on what what goes to the viewer. Mm -hmm. There's another danger here, Linda, that uh, you, you make you, this production goes on air. Somebody picks it on the way and transmits. As something different. Something different. Mm -hmm. You can interfere with the content. Uh, but then the logo is saying we. But then what's going on, the, on the viewer is very different. So I, I think the legal, uh, the legal issues must, mm -hmm. be, must be handled very well. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to see the courts are becoming more flexible. Then they, they're also looking at, the, 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 looking at what the demands of the media owners. Mm -hmm. And I want to believe that's very right. But I wish that we went, to, we, we went, we went digital, as I said earlier, as soon as yesterday. yesterday. Because mm -hmm. one... We are having a requirement. The moment we have everybody, every Kenyan viewing, having a, a, multi, a multi choice of content, mm -hmm. then we are saying, therefore, that Kenyans will be able to have a choice to be able to sample up what they have mm -hmm. because we will have gone digital, all of us. Mm -hmm. People are sitting on analog. They are, they are watching few that are still streaming on analog signal. Mm. But then what are we also say, saying? It's coming with, uh, with good news. The digital platform is, is coming with good news. Mm -hmm. We are saying the media owners, we must have our local content, must be 60%. That's very good. So the moment you're talking about 60%, Linda, you are saying that actress, that actor mm -hmm. at the National Theatre, that actor coming from uh, Tumutum Girls High School, mm -hmm. that uh, actor coming from Kamega High School, will have a chance to be auditioned by would-be director to come and play a role in the production and therefore make more money. Now, what are we saying? We are saying we have a lot of foreign content mm -hmm. on our TV stations. We, do. we have many of them ha are having even as much as 80%. What, what are we promoting? Mm -hmm. We are promoting Mexico. Mm -hmm. We are promoting the economy of Mexico. We are. We are promoting the economy of Nigeria. We are promoting the economy of uh, uh, Tanzania. Mm -hmm. If we are going to watch Bongowood. We are promoting the economy of India if you are going to watch Bongowood. Mm -hmm. Because the director from India is being um, taxed to do a film in India. Mm -hmm. That money goes to Indian government. It's true. The, the, produ the producer director from uh, Hollywood is being taxed by the local authority to do a production. That money goes to develop the economy of America. Mm -hmm. So we are saying, therefore, that as much as we are going to go local content, then we are going to benefit in one way or the other. One we are having what are calling us local narrative. Mm -hmm. Too much is talked about Kenya by foreigners. And not Why, from us. Not from us. Why can't our own directors give a narrative promoting the Maasai culture, promoting the Kenyan culture, promoting the counties that we do have? We have good things coming from Garissa. Mm -hmm. But we have not been told what comes from Garissa. We only hear bad things from Garissa. Why can't our directors go to Garissa and give us a foreign fauna? I've, I've traveled to Meru. Mm -hmm. And uh, I marvel at the landscape that we have. Kenyan directors must go to Meru, use the Meru landscape, give us good productions. Mm -hmm. Go to Kericho. Look at the plantations. 
Why can't you do a movie within the presence of Kericho foreign fauna? Mm -hmm. Give us a production. Go mm -hmm. to Mumias, the cane plantations. Do a movie within those hearts and, 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 and the beauty of, of the, 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 the scenic component. Provide to us, we do quite a lot. It's true. We yes. have very many untold stories. Yes, but, 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 but Kenyan directors, uh, few who have been able to do their, their, their trade, are basically putting us in, the, in Nairobi, mm -hmm. in the cities. Only. Only. I don't know why they have been unable to go to Kisi, they have been unable to go to Busia, to Malindi, Lamu, and give us the beauty of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Why would a Muzungu come to Kenya and go to Masai Mara, do a production, and go and promote Kenyan tourism in foreign land, mm -hmm. and we can't do the same as local directors, local producers? Mm -hmm. That is the problem. Charity begins at home. Begins at home.